Thank you for joining us for our daily service today. Whether you're here in Oxford or a different part of the UK or somewhere else in the world, thank you for joining us as we spend some time focusing our hearts and minds on God so that we bring glory to him. Let's begin by saying these words from Psalm 115. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory because of your love and faithfulness. Today we finish our reflections on John chapter 15 and we're looking at that phrase, this is to my Father's glory. Let's read together verses 5 to 8. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. This is to my Father's glory, Jesus says. But what does it mean to glorify God? Well, we glorify God when we put the spotlight on his greatness, just as when a victorious athlete steps onto the podium and receives her gold medal. Or when we magnify his character, as when a telescope magnifies the moon, and when we get a glimpse of something bigger and beautiful, or when we honour his worth, as when we might honour a friend by giving them a thoughtful gift. God alone is worthy of all glory, and we're to glorify him. Man's chief end is to glorify God and to enjoy him forever, as the Catechism says. And that should be our ambition. And that's what Jesus says. This is to my Father's glory. But we might think, but Jesus is the true vine and he has told us to remain in him. Surely he would want the spotlight to fall on him. And yet Jesus' ambition is to glorify his Father and he wants us to glorify him too. So how can we do that? Well, listen again to verse 8. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. The Father is glorified not just by our praise and our prayers, but when we produce fruit for Jesus and through Jesus. The Father is the gardener, and he prunes each branch so that we bear more fruit. Our fruitful lives show his handiwork, his green fingers as it were. And the Father has given the Son life in himself. And so as we remain in Jesus and his life flows into us, producing fruit, Jesus' fruit, this is to his Father's glory. And the Father has revealed himself to his Son and his words to him. And so as we remain in Jesus' words, following them, praying in line with them, we show ourselves to be disciples, Jesus' disciples, and this is to his Father's glory. And so in how we live our lives, we show the greatness of our God, we magnify his character, we honour his worth. And yet that's challenging. Because if I'm honest, I don't always do a very good job of making the Father glorious. Often, it's not to you, Lord, not to you, but to my name be the glory because of my qualities and achievements. That often we give the impression that God is actually weak and insignificant, not glorious. That perhaps with some success that we have achieved or the money we have or the difficulties that we've come through, 
we stop there and we don't take the next step of praising God and of, and of confessing, Father, this is to your glory. Or we're unfruitful and we're reluctant to let Jesus' words change us or to love others sacrificially. Or we're ashamed to be known as Jesus' disciples. And in our unfruitful lives, we're actually robbing God of his glory. And yet when we confess our sins and receive our Father's forgiveness, then together with Jesus, we can glorify the Father. And so let's make that our goal today. Let's throw the spotlight on his greatness. Let's magnify his character. Let's honour his worth as we live fruitful lives, showing ourselves to be Jesus' disciples. This is to his Father's glory and to our Father's glory. Let's glorify our Father now by praying to him. Let's begin our prayers with that prayer that Jesus taught his disciples, a prayer to pray to his Father and to ours. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Merciful God, we pray for the media in our country and throughout the world. Thank you for the technology that has enabled us to be connected with so many people and places and that shows the common bonds we have as humans on this planet. And in these strange and difficult times, give those who direct, work and participate in the media a love of truth, peace and justice. Strengthen them to speak out against all that is evil and to celebrate the good, working with honesty, integrity and wisdom for the good order of society. Loving Lord, we pray for ourselves as consumers of media who want to be well informed. Help us to find the most helpful local information to equip us to be good neighbours. Help us to be discerning in what we read and see and to engage critically. And help us to maintain appropriate boundaries and to help those who are struggling to do so. Please keep us from anxiety and panic. Heavenly Father, we bring before you those who are unwell and those caring for them. Please heal and sustain them and others. Lord, for those who are mourning today, please draw near and comfort them. And please, in your mercy, come to our relief and rescue. And a prayer for God's help to please him. Go before us, O Lord, in all our doings, with your most gracious favour, and further us with your continual help, that in all our works, begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name, and finally by your mercy obtain everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory, world without end. Amen. Our song reminds us that this life that we live is not our own, that we are living for the glory of our Lord.
So as we go from this daily service, not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory because of your love and faithfulness. May God bless you today.